Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's discuss on the paper Texture Retrieval System Using Intuitionistic Fuzzy Set Theory. In this paper, we are going to implement a texture retrieval system using Intuitionistic Fuzzy Set Theory. The main idea of CBIR is to search similar images based on user query. Here, we are going to consider MRI scan images of brain. The texture features play an important role in computer vision, image processing and pattern recognition. Here we are going to mainly concentrate the extraction of Tamura features from the given images. Tamura features are of three kinds. The first one is coarseness that describes texture granularity. The second one contrast, the difference in intensity among neighboring pixels. Third one directionality, the placement of the texture primitives. And we introduce a novel method of using IFS theory. IFS means along with the membership degree, the hesitation degree is also taken into account for CBAR. With the help of this IFS, we can improve the CBAR performance much more better. We can justify our result by implementing our proposed system in MATLAB platform. Now let's see the explanation of this data flow diagram. The first block is nothing but image database. It is a collection of MRI brain scan images. It is of three kinds, normal, benign and then malignant. The next block, Tamura feature extraction. Here we are going to extract the three Tamura features named as coarseness, contrast and directionality. After extracting these three features, they will be concatenated together and it is now represented as a feature vector. Following this feature extraction, next we go for the fuzzy clustering. Fuzzy clustering is nothing but a term set generation. A term set on each Tamura feature is generated through a fuzzy clustering algorithm so that degrees of appearance for the feature can be interpreted as five linguistic terms. Linguistic terms characterized high level textual concepts of textures and further the generated term set formulates a mapping of low level statistical properties that means Tamura features into high level textual concepts that means the linguistic terms. Following this clustering the next block IFS computation here. During the clustering process, the membership degree for each and every element is computed. But here we are going to consider the non-membership degree, that is the hesitation degree, is also computed here. So that will be also added to the feature vector. Now the image database is now converted into a feature database so that we can achieve the dimensionality reduction here. Come to the user side. Now this is the query image selected by the user. Here also we have to extract the Tamura feature, coarseness, contrast and directionality. Once again we proceed the fuzzy clustering so that we can come to a conclusion whether the given query images comes under which cluster. After determining this cluster we have to compute the membership degree for that particular cluster and the hesitation degree for the same cluster. Now come to the main block that is similarity measure. So here we are having this feature database and here we are having the feature vector that combines the membership and non-membership degree for the given query image. So we have to compute the similarity between the query image with that of all the images available in the database. The similarity measure is nothing but the computation of Euclidean distance measure. After computing this, the nearest neighbors are considered as relevant images. With the help of the index obtained from this block, we can easily retrieve the relevant images from the image database. So, the retrieved images are now displayed in a separate figure window to satisfy the user requirements. Now let us see the execution of our proposed implementation and this is the main file you have to run ifs main.m guy window will be shown to you inside this press the button select query under the query image folder 
select any one image. I am selecting this one. And here I am giving the option to the user for the number of images to be retrieved. Now I select 10. Afterwards press retrieve button. The retrieved images are displayed one by one. Now we see the explanation for each and every results displayed in a successive manner. The first one is graphical representation for the fuzzy membership degree for the first Tamura feature named as Cosmos. The y-axis value it represents the membership degree value and it lies in the range of 0 to 1. And this is the second one fuzzy membership degree value for the second Tamura feature contrast. The third one direction. Here we have chosen the triangular membership function for the display. Now see the query image category. It is categorized as benign. Now this is the retrieved image display. All the images those who are nearest to the given query image will be displayed here. And this is the graphical representation for the neighborhood distances versus neighbor index. And this is the analysis graph precision recall. Precision is computed by the ratio such as the numerator term it indicates the number of relevant images retrieved and the denominator term is nothing but the total number of relevant images retrieved. And recall, it is nothing but the ratio of number of relevant images retrieved divided by total number of relevant images available in the data set. And the nearer one is ROC curve. It is drawn versus true positive rate and false positive rate. So the first list box here, it listed out the neighborhood index of all the retrieved images. Nearer to this, the category of all retrieved images will be listed out. Third one, distance. The distance computation between the query image with that of retrieved images. And this is the true positive rate computation. Now see the retrieval time, it is 4.19155 seconds. The total retrieval accuracy computed is 100. By seeing all the results, we can say our system will yield the best performance when compared to the existing systems. Thank you.